Hi everyone, Oksanti here again. I'm an artist and textile designer and in this video I'm going to talk about how to use your vector repeat pattern files in Adobe Illustrator if you're just a beginner and you purchased your files to design your physical products and um, so what do you need to do now? How do you find them? How do you use them? I'm going to show the whole process and make it simple for you right in this video. So you purchased the file and uh, with your pattern, with a vector pattern, and now you want to know how to use it. And sometimes uh, you cannot locate it uh, in Adobe Illustrator when you just open it up uh, for the first time. And I'm going to show you how you can go about it. So you might have a pattern that looks something like this. It's just single pattern file. And uh, so you might see already the pattern is a repeat pattern. It's one of my seaweed patterns that I designed uh, in Vector. Um, so what I can do to, to apply and use this pattern is first of all to go to the window right here and then to go to swatches. Swatches. All right. So here are the swatches that we have. And these are just white and black color swatches and if you click and on the grouped pattern and drag it right here you will have a pattern swatch new pattern swatch all right to see it in this big size you go for here you might see it in a small much smaller size but to go in this menu you go to a large thumbnail view there you go there's your pattern but like drag the swatch uh, palette right here this one to the side and if you click and drag on the swatch, you will have an actual copy of the same swatch uh, wherever you dragged it. So this uh, is how you can basically use it. Uh, oftentimes the manufacturers of your product might want just the tile like that or even an uncut uh, repeat tile, uh, in, sometimes in repeat. So depending what your manufacturer wants, you can do that. Uh, but next, I'm going to show you what happens if you don't have a, a tile like this, or one pattern tile, but for example, if you purchased a collection. So I have a collection too that I sell on my uh, Microstock galleries, and this, this is a, one of my abstract pattern collection with some geometric patterns. And for example, you open it up, and then you just see a previews of the patterns and you don't know how to use them if you are a beginner in Adobe Illustrator. And it's not a problem at all. And uh, for example, in my collection, all the patterns are right here in the tile. I'm going to put this to the side and just click and drag and click and drag some patterns right here so you can see that they are all in the tiles. And this is how they look. Um, there you go. So just a few matching vector patterns for you to use from the collection. And uh, what you can do with them is that um, I'm going to show you how to apply them on the product. Okay, let's uh, say for example that you're designing a round circle rug and uh, using the ellipse tool right here, L, uh, we create a big circle and then you make, sh make sure that the fill is selected right here. So this is the stroke color and you can, this is the fill. So you click on it to select it, select their object and then the magic of pattern begins. So you can just click on different swatches, pattern swatches and that it fills them up seamlessly fills their, your shape up seamlessly. But for example, you are interested in making the pattern bigger, larger pattern, but same size circle. This is how you do it. You go to Object, Transform, then Scale, right there. And this, what it did, it scaled our circle. So that's what we don't want. We want, for example, to double the size of the pattern, scale of the pattern within the same circle. So what we do, we turn off this transform objects check mark and just keep transform pattern. So if we turn it off again, 
Okay, so that was what we had before, 100% size scale, and this is what we have now at 200% scale. So that's basically how you can work with your patterns. And I, the last thing that I wanted to show you, which might be very useful for you too, that will drag one swatch of our pattern like that. You use this magic wand tool and you, for example, want to do a black and green pattern. So you select all the blue by clicking and uh, shift clicking on the, all the blue colors and it will select the same colors for you and then let's go to fill and let's fill it up with black. Uh -huh. So my mistake was that I actually it selected my white too. So you have to be careful to select the correct ones. Double click on the and then choose black and let's see. Okay. Yeah, so there we have it. So totally different pattern and um, Basically, you can choose the colors your, that you want for your products like that in Vector pretty easily. And also, if you double click a few times and ungroup it, you can see that you can even take it apart. So that's another beautiful thing about Vector. And if you want to just go back to everything, you can hit uh, Command uh, Z a few times. Command Z, Command Z. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial about how to use vector repeat patterns in Adobe Illustrator for your product design. And if you uh, have questions about this topic, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you're interested in a custom repeat pattern designs, I love to collaborate with creative people and bring amazing beautiful products that wow to life together in our creative projects. Thank you so much for uh, being here and uh, grow, love and create. Bye!